Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, it's ready. That's right, I just got a call that the F-250 Beast is ready for pickup. Unfortunately, I am in rush hour evening traffic here in Memphis. I am doing a whole 16 miles an hour on the five lane interstate right now. Six, oh, 19, I just made it to 19 mile an hour, it's so crazy. But I slow down, got my seatbelt on. Yeah, this is, uh, this is terrible. Um, and of course, I've already had like five instances where cars in front of me slow down, I slow down, cars behind me don't see me slow down. I've got these big red lights on the back of my SRT, you know, the big, Durango has those big race, race, racing lights. Oh, I forgot what they call it. Um, how do you miss it? I don't know. But they, uh, on their phones, probably, uh, I hear them go, Aah! and I'm like, ah, I better get out of the way. And you, you always got to debate whether you stay in your lane or do you get to the left into the shoulder or you get to the right in the shoulder, depending where you're at, um, or let them hit you. And he goes like, what if they go to the left? And I go to the left and they hit me. Whose fault is it? You know, it's always their fault if they hit you in the butt, right? Problem is, if they scream it past you and you cut into them to the left, then, then you just cut into them. I don't know. But so um, my truck is ready and it's perfect timing too because too, this week is fishing weekend. It's the Framily Fellas Fishing Frenzy Fiesta. I think I got that right. I'm not sure. I just made it up. So. Um, yeah, we're leaving Friday morning to uh, Mammoth Springs, Arkansas. Gonna go fishing uh, with 16 of the fellas. Gonna be a great time. I just sent the uh, reminder text out this evening uh, about um, where we're staying. You got to bring your own bed linens, uh, your own washcloths and towels. It's, it's a campground, right? It's a campground. It's not no uh, uh, four-star, four-seasons hotel. Don't have no Wi-Fi, David, sorry. David's like, Tim always takes me places ain't got no Wi-Fi. Well, those are the best places in the world are the ones that are out in the middle of nowhere with no Wi-Fi. I mean, if you got no Wi-Fi and no cell signal, you're in a good spot. And that's where the fish are. I told David, I said, David, you can have Wi-Fi or you can have trout. Which one do you want? Knowing bougie David, I want some Wi-Fi. I gotta have my Wi-Fi. We're YouTubers. We gotta have our Wi-Fi. Well, actually, I think Bobblehead Jeff is bringing his uh, Starlink, and I believe David is bringing um, uh, Mike uh, DD5's um, um, Moby or something like that. I forgot what it was called. We we mo we we move or I don't know some portable hotspot. Oh, there's a wreck. Wreck on the interstate. Ooh, they hit the guardrail. Oh, they had a trail. Oh my goodness, that truck is gone. That truck is gone. It was a, a work truck and another work truck with a trailer on it, and they both went off and hit the guardrail, and the one uh, red work truck was uh, smooshed up. It don't look like the, the cab was damaged, though, so hopefully they're fine, but everything in the back behind the cab was smooshed up. Yeah, Dave, David needs his Wi-Fi, needs his set. Got to call the margarita. Oh, margarita. I'm, I'm up here. I just caught my first fish. Tim's caught 10. Um, and uh, he's cooking some ribs, way better than my ribs. Oh, my goodness, they're so good. Shh, did I say that out loud? Don't tell nobody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just changed to another highway. I'm on... Uh, Highway 385 now, and it's only one, two, three, four lanes. And then the track. Hey, I'm doing 40 mile an hour right now, which is amazing. Hard to believe I'm actually doing 40. It's all right. It's good. I'll be in. I'll be in the country soon. I'll be in the country. Um, 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 um. I'll be in the country soon. I'll be in the country soon. Just keep saying, no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh my gosh, the oncoming traffic in the other four lanes is terrible. Those guys are doing two mile an hour, if anything. I don't know if you can see, over, no you can't, there's a, there's a divider right there. Those guys on that side over there are doing five, 10 mile an hour at best, four lanes. I, I'm, I'm actually doing 40, 50 mile an hour. Normally, if you don't come through here to rush hour, you can do 80 through here. People are, I mean, if you don't do 80, you're getting passed up. 
Hey, I just saw David go by. A big old truck full of mums. He's never going to water and they're all going to die. Did I say that out loud? I can't believe I said that out loud. Oh my gosh. Me and Jin Jin would never say something like that when we're talking together in private. <laughs> oh, I'm in a terrible mood right now. I just, I can't believe I'm just being so mean to everybody. But, um, yeah, we are planning the family, family fellas fishing fiesta, fian, frenzy fiesta. And um, there's one large cabin and five small cabins, three people per room. So, our, so three times six is 18, 18 enough room for 18 people i believe there are 15 or 16 of us going just got some bad news bad 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 news margarita's got to come because david can't go nowhere without margarita so this is the, 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 the fellas fishing trip is now a fishing fiasco i'm just kidding uh the, but the bad news is mike from dd5 is not going on the fishing trip and he was the poker master he was the he was the dealer thank you Sonia she just told me I got going faster than 55 mile an hour and that's the speed limit so I better slow down well I'm sorry she thought I was going allegedly allegedly but yeah Mike from DD5 is not going because you probably saw the videos on DD5 their car broke down their truck is in the shop been there over a month they called, not ready. You'll have to see uh, their channels to see when it's gonna be ready. I'm not gonna spill all their beans. Uh, the, you have to go over there. But the vibe broke down. That's already been on their video, so I'm not spilling any beans there. And it don't look good, guys. Uh, I talked to David about what he saw with the vibe. It does not look good. Uh, so they are vehicleless. All they've got are e-bikes right now. And I don't believe uh, e-bikes are the way to go to get the kids to and from school and groceries and and uh, laundromat. And luckily, they were on their way home from getting groceries and uh, Halloween costumes and all that stuff for the kids. Um, but I'm, I'm very sad that uh, Mike is not coming to the fishing trip. He's a fun, fun guy, and uh, he's always going to slip and fall in the water and get water in his waders. And uh, you know, he's going to drop the trout and it's going to slip out of his hands and he's going to fall down the waterfall and come up and his waders are going to be full of water like a cartoon. And he's gonna squish all the water out of his waders, and and uh, it, it just it's just very entertaining. <laughs> Not saying that happened last year, but it did. Um, another thing is he's the one of the poker dealers. Him and Drew are like the poker masters, right? The seven what do you call that? Uh, Texas Hold'em. I've only played Texas Hold'em one time in my life, and that was last year at the fishing trip. Now I'm a I'm a poker player. And I'm a blackjack player, but I'm never, I've only played Texas Hold'em one time. I've just been conventional draw or uh, stud poker. Obviously, stud poker. <laughs> Tim is in a mood, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so Mike from DD5 is not going to be there. Levi is going to be there. Levi was added to the trip. So that's going to be awesome. We're trying to figure out who's staying where. So again, I said there was one large cabin, three beds five small cabins, bunk beds, two, and one full-size bed. So there are uh, 18 bed locations, and there are probably 16 of us, I think. 15 or 16 of us. And um, Anthony has got two buddies coming up from Arizona or Nevada. I'm not sure which. So he'll be in uh, one of the cabins with those two, one of the smaller cabins. And the smaller cabins, if you recall from last year, are down at the bottom of the hill, by, down by the river. They've all got their own um, fire pit, fire ring, gravel out there. They have a porch, a uh, picnic table, uh, outside water hydrant, no water, no bathroom or running water inside. They do have electricity. So uh, they have, uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. They have um, a little ceramic, electric ceramic heater for heat, and they have a, a window unit for AC, um, the bunk beds, and a full bed. So Anthony's gonna have one of those, him and his two buddies. We've already said that Mike from DD, are from um, Three Mississippi, and uh, Ryan, his buddy from down there in Mississippi, they're gonna have to have one near the shower house. Since theirs don't have showers, 
They got to be in one near the shower house. Just saying. If you know, if you know, you know. If you know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying, go back and watch last year's um, uh, Family Fellas Frishing Fienza. If I can remember, I'll put a link right up there, okay? Or up there, up there, up there. You know where it's at. Uh, if I can think about it. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I put it up there and it doesn't show up. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, Mike and Ryan have to be in one. They'll probably be in a small cabin uh, and they'll share the full size. Of, oh, no, man, they'll have... Yeah, They'll, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Um, Levi and David said, you know, they don't necessarily have to be in the same one because what I'm doing is everybody that doesn't need to be together, I'm going to put their name in a random uh, name drawer. And um, matter of fact, I may do that live tonight on Ridge Life. I may do that live tonight on Ridge Life. That might be something fun to see. I'll talk about that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, I'm going to put them in a random name generator and pick three people. And those three people can be in the big cabin. The big cabin has uh, like two queen size beds, a rollout couch, uh, full kitchen, full bathroom, a uh, big deck with a, a, a big picnic table under the covered deck. Uh, has a uh, uh, grill, an open top grill, but no firing. And. Um, more park well that they all have good parking but so uh, and the big cabins are up on top of the hill down overlooking the smaller cabins so they're they're just a hop skip and a jump and a fall down a see that's another good thing maybe Mike isn't going because if we're down and up he you know by the end of the night he would roll down that hill and that hill is like 50 60 feet tall and if he rolled down that rocky hill miles that's right Sonia he might not make it he might not make it um so I'm kind of that maybe a maybe a good thing, maybe a good thing. I did buy my Arkansas non-resident fishing license today and my trout stamp. Um, Sixty dollars for the fishing license, twenty dollars for the trout stamp, and I do but be I paid eighty dollars plus tax to go trout fishing with the fellas. Eighty bucks. It's worth it though, guys. Woo! My goodness, it's worth it. It's so fun. It's so fun. And I hope to go over there uh, fishing in Arkansas more than just once a year, too. Um, it's a place I used to go all, all frequently to fish. And uh, and there's other places, the White River and other places I'd love to go fishing in Arkansas. So it's worth the 80 bucks, $83, or whatever it is. Um, let me see if I can change lanes here. I'm doing a whole 68, I mean, kilometers per hour. Yeah, allegedly miles per hour, but kilometers per hour uh, officially. Um, in Mexico, by the way, I'm, I'm in Mexico, not New Mexico, the country of Mexico, right? Remember that. Um, so yes, uh, the fishing trip is Friday, coming back Sunday, should be a great, great time. Uh, probably if somebody has some Wi-Fi, we'll do a live stream, you probably see a couple live streams from Drew or David or, uh, there'll be a couple of us doing live streams. Um, whoever has signal, and you'll see compilations video. I'll, I'll have, of course, I'll have. I should have an epic compilation video with drone footage and and uh, good camera footage. I got a really nice camera to take it. Hopefully, I don't drop it in the river. I do have Geek Squad protection. That's right, David. I got the Geek Squad protection on my new camera. So, um, Oxford Police, Oxford, Mississippi Police is up here. Oxford, Mexico. I'm sorry, Oxford, Mex Mexico uh, Police. There, I'm passing on Mexico. Mexico, um, just coming home from work. By the way, uh, it was a hot day, it is 80 degrees right now. I believe it was about 85, 87 today. Uh, it was much hotter in the steel mill. Um, I'm getting my feet wet a little bit. Went out into the plant and uh, did some uh, project uh, work. Uh, guy said, Hey, you need to find a bucket that's got a 60 amp breaker. A feeder in it for this new robot we're putting in putting in a new robot that does all kinds of uh, robotic things in the steel mill and uh, so I was uh, searching for some uh, power for it and uh, found that got you know because this, this is an area I don't normally work so I, 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 I knew I, I'm, I'm new I know where the electrical rooms are because I'm an electrician uh, but I don't know a lot of the process areas but I knew where this electrical room was and 
got that figured out for him got him the pictures and drew up uh you know where the 60 uh, amp feeder was going to be so the, the robot can have some power uh, of course did meetings and all that stuff oh i brought a salad grandma carol made me a salad for dinner for lunch sorry and i was good boy and i ate my salad she actually gave me some um brisket to go with it but i was going to save that brisket for tomorrow and just eat my salad it was a good salad good salad had a uh, bacon uh, shred, uh chopped up bacon real bacon tomatoes cranberries walnuts croutons uh olive garden salad dressing light salad dressing uh it's a spinach greens salad not iceberg lettuce but spinach greens and i was having, I was having a good time then a contractor brought in two, four tubs of chicken wings jerk and dry spicy with uh, blue cheese dressing and ranch dressing dipping sauce some um, uh, spiced carrots and uh, some uh, like Hawaiian bread rolls or whatever I didn't eat the bread I didn't eat the bread but I did have I ended up having three chicken wings they're whole chicken wings right the whole the whole the whole thing so I had three chicken wings. I, I was trying to eat my salad, but gotta keep this girlish figure. You know, Jin Jin likes me with the the uh, the on the on the manly side of the man, dad bod, right? She don't want me to have the uh, um, tubby side of the man bod. She wants me to have the burly side, the uh, the less burly, more. Uh, Who's way? Just to give you an example of the kind of uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell some beans. I'm gonna spill some beans here, okay? Jin Jin's um, superstar crush. It's not Ridgelock, by the way. Her superstar crush is not Ridgelock. Her superstar crush is um, Jarrett. No, Jarrett Leto. I'm, I'm Can you feel the name? Her she, superstar crush is Jarrett Jared Leto. Jared Leto, uh, you know, from uh, uh, 30 Seconds to Mars and uh, tons of movies. You know, he was the, the bad joker in the uh, Suicide Squad. But uh, she loves Jared Leto. Did you know that guy's my age? Jared Leto is like 52, 53 years old. Dude looks like he's 35. Miles 35. And uh, so that's her... That's her secret superstar crush. So she wants me, or she never said, she never says, Tim, I'd rather you. She would not do that. But knowing what she likes, she likes that uh, uh, that body style, that's, that persona. And uh, so she probably prefer to have me on the Jarrett Leto side of dad bod than the Al Bundy side of dad bod, if you know what I'm saying. I try to aim to please, you know. I've lost about 20 pounds in uh, the last uh, year, year and a half. So that's that's a good thing. Good thing. I try. I'm, I plan on if I could lose about 20 more, I'd be like exactly where I would want to be. But if I lost about 20 more pounds, you're like Tim, you're only five foot two. How are you gonna lose 20 pounds? I'm five foot ten. Thank you very much. Telling me I can't lose 20 more pounds. I mean, nothing at five foot two. I ain't no five foot two. You know, you just gotta be mean to me. Um, but yes, it's uh, gonna go pick up uh, Grandma Carol. I guess I'll rush home. I gotta leave work early tomorrow. I guess rush home and uh, get Grandma Carol, and then run up there and get my uh, truck. I guess I could go by there, get my truck, leave it in their parking lot, run home, get Grandma Carol, come back. Uh, I just gotta risk it getting stolen or you know down the outside of their locked facility. It's just a risky take. I'll talk to her about it and run that by her and see what she thinks. I got to get my uh, waders out, my fishing gear, fishing poles, fishing uh, 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 tackle box. Uh, got to get my cooler. Uh, got to get some camp chairs. Uh, got my cooler already out. Um, uh, maybe throw a little firewood, more firewood. I think some guys are bringing some firewood. It, it's it's getting organized pretty well. Uh, all I did is just facilitate the place, you know, uh, and I, I got the group text going, which David loves the group text, by the way. He's he's all about the group text. Um, but Mike from uh, Three Mississippi is really doing a good job of coordinating the food. 
I think uh, Anthony is bringing some uh, chicken to, 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 to cook. Um, David is bringing uh, some uh, dogs and burgers. Um, Mike from Three Mississippi is bringing all kinds of stuff. Breakfast. Uh, I, think we're, I think somebody's bringing some. Oh, Gary might be bringing some stuff for breakfast burritos. Um, pretty much on our own for lunches. Bring your own uh, lunch meats and stuff, chips and stuff. I'm going to bring uh, some chips, uh, some big old tubs of potato salad. I got to go Walmart and get those uh, industrial size tubs of potato salad. Just to let you know. Big D is coming. Our flipping homestead used to be a uh, uh, Hat Creek homestead. Big D, he's a, he's a big old boy now. And Mike from uh, MT Homestead, Big Mike is coming. So that's that's two real big old dudes right there. You know, they don't eat a, a tablespoon of a side. I'm just saying they don't. They do not eat tablespoons. Well, they eat it by the tablespoon. I'm just saying. Okay, I, I'm not saying they eat a lot. I'm just saying, but you don't get um, as big as Big Mike is. Big Mike's a big old boy, and Big D's a big old boy. Hence, they have the term big in front of their names, right? Big D and Big Mike. Big old boys. Big old. How big a boy is he? What's that from? How big a boy are you? That's actually how it is. How big a boy are you? Um, it's, uh, that's funny stuff. I don't care who you are. That's funny stuff. Um, but it's gonna be a great time, and uh, maybe tomorrow, if I do pick up the uh, um, truck, which I should be, unless something crazy happens, maybe I'll do a ramble on the way home, and you get to see the inside of the new truck. Maybe I'll do you a walk around before we jump and leave or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, all right, guys. Until next time. Hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Make sure you join me tonight, Tuesday night, for Rich Life Tuesday Night Live on Rich Life, um, 7 p.m. Central. I may do a random number generator, or name generator, and see who's sleeping together on the vision trip. <laughs> Go Ridge Life.